The single most important image on your Kickstarter page is your project image. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three simple tips to make sure your project image stands out from the hundreds of other projects on Kickstarter and attracts the right backers to your page. Prepare to launch in three, two, Hello fellow comics launchers, my name is Tyler James with Comics Launch and I'm bringing you the mindset, strategies, and tactics to crowdfund your projects on Kickstarter and beyond. On this channel, we share proven tips and strategies for writers, artists, and publishers, so if you're new here, you should definitely subscribe. Now, over the past few years, I've helped thousands of creators launch their Kickstarter projects, and one of the most important things I make sure that they get right is the Kickstarter project image. And on this video, I wanna help you nail your Kickstarter project image too with three proven Kickstarter project image design tips. Tip number one is to design your project image for the widescreen aspect ratio. Now, this one trips up a surprisingly large number of comic book creators, and I suspect that's because most of the time, the best art we have for our projects is our cover art, and covers in comics are usually vertical, not horizontal. Because many creators treat their project image as an afterthought, we often find sloppy repurposing of good existing cover art used for Kickstarter project images, and that's a no-no. Usually what happens here is creators clumsily try to force a vertical cover into the widescreen format, and that just simply doesn't work. Just like comic readers judge books on their covers, they're going to judge your project on your project image, and first impressions do matter. Your Kickstarter project image should be in the widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and Kickstarter's minimum recommendation size is 1024 by 576 pixels. So this means you'll either want to find a widescreen image, such as a cool panel, or even a double page spread to use for your Kickstarter image, something like this perhaps, or you want to go and design a brand new image specifically with Kickstarter in mind. Now, trust me, it's worth taking the time to get this right. However, if you're absolutely determined to use your cover as your project image, here's a tip that I recommend. First, you wanna make a 3D mockup of your cover using a tool like myecovermaker.com. Then have that cover sit on the right side of your project image, and on the left side, have a compelling image that draws the eyes toward your awesome comic book cover. This is exactly what I did for the Sync Volume 1 Kickstarter campaign, which was a $28,000 launch. Tip number two comes straight from Kickstarter itself. Kickstarter recommends that your project image be three things. They want it clear, simple, and bright, okay? As humans, we tend to overcomplicate things, but the best images on Kickstarter are rarely the most complex. Remember, even though you're going to be uploading an image at a full-size resolution, most people will first see it small. Most of the traffic on Kickstarter these days is now on mobile, and so your image is going to be tiny, so you need to make sure that it looks good, small when it's on mobile, or if it's just the thumbnail on the Kickstarter project page. This means that if your image is loaded with characters or detail or lots of text, well, most of that is going to be missed by your potential backers. And even if you think your image is clear enough, I'm gonna challenge you to make it even clearer, simpler, and brighter. Here's an example of how I did that. For the Wailing Blade Kickstarter campaign, I found this perfect widescreen image of our main character, Headtaker. This image could have worked okay as is, but I wanted to make it pop even more on Kickstarter. And so in Photoshop, I knocked out the background to make Headtaker pop even more. And then I dropped a color filter over it to limit the color palette to an ominous red that will pop against Kickstarter's white background color. Now, I really love the image, and as you can see, Kickstarter loved it too. So tip number three is to model the pros. One of the worst things to do is to try to design your project image from a blank screen. Instead, you want to model what's already working. Now, a good practice to get into is to regularly scroll Kickstarter's discovery page for your category and take note of any particularly well-done images that jump out at you but there's an even better place to look for great image ideas, and that's Netflix. I learned this tip from creator Jeff McComsey, who shared it on the Comics Launch podcast a while back. And this is so smart because Netflix has a similar interface and aspect ratio as Kickstarter, with the difference being every image on Netflix was crafted by a professional. 
And I think you'll see that Netflix images follow Kickstarter's clear, simple, and bright rule that we just discussed. When you're looking at images, I want you to pay close attention to where are those images focusing on. Notice how prevalent close-ups and headshots and faces and how they make it easy to connect with an audience. Right? Remember that. Uh, also pay attention to the cropping and the positioning of characters, the size, style, and legibility of logos. Um, also pay attention to the use of negative space and, and the color palette. Notice how many effective designs on Netflix actually limit the number of colors that they use for a much greater effect. Trust me, all is fair in love and crowdfunding. So if you're stumped with coming up with an original project image, instead just model a design on the front page of Netflix that is already working. All right, your comics launcher for today's video is to leave a comment and I want you to share with me a link to one Kickstarter project image that you think is just an awesome image. They knocked it out of the park. It can be your own project if you're very proud of your image or someone else's. But let's see some great images that are working on Kickstarter. All right, if you got value from this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more mindset strategies and tactics from Comics Launch here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you launch next.